Nice. So I guess they just hang out there and in case, you know what? Let, I'm going to sacrifice myself. Let's do it. Let's take one for the team. I want to see. Oh, we like, we immediately went down. Oh, there they are. There they are. Nice. See them? And they got us. They brought us back. Now that is cool. That is really cool. He brought me right back. Uh, but we don't have any help. So we got to see about that real fast. There we go. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Into the Flames gameplay. We're back on the Canton County Free Roam. We're on Station 2. Did have a viewer request to take Tanker 3 out, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working out Station 2, seeing what kind of calls we can get. Just want to let you guys know Into the Flames is currently on sale on the Steam Workshop. It is 30% off right now, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. I think the uh, update is getting closer and closer to coming out, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, I don't have an exact date, but uh, I, I feel like it's probably going to be sooner than later. So definitely go check it out on the Steam Workshop. 30% off. I think you'll really enjoy it. So we're going to hang out here at Station 2. And uh, as usual, we'll see what kind of calls we can get. All right. So while we're here hanging out, I may just go ahead and uh, we may just force a call. Someone had left a comment. I'm almost certain someone left a comment a few days ago asking how we forced calls and did all that stuff. So what you'll do is you'll hit tab. It'll bring up uh, the menu. You'll go over here to emergencies. And uh, this will tell you what your current call is. Now, we don't have anything right now. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just let them come at you uh, randomly, which is what they'll do. You'll just get random calls that you have to respond to. Or uh, you can go down here and you can force the dispatch call. So if you click on that, it'll bring up this menu. And uh, these are all the calls that you can take on the map. Now, the three numbers at the end of the address is going to be the box number. And the first digit of the box number is going to be relative to the station. So uh, this would be calls for station uh, 210 or uh, in the 210 area or in the station 2 area, I should say. So uh, this would be 210, 50, uh, Spicer Hill, uh, 222. Uh, 420 would be for station four, uh, 420, 420. So you got another 210, 222, uh, 315 would be for station three, 569 Atlantic Avenue would be um, station five and, and so on and so forth. The only one that I haven't uh, seen on here uh, is station seven. So I'm, I'm not sure. I guess seven would be maybe kind of six and five, but uh, that's how that works out. So since we're in station two, we'll spawn one. Uh, kind of relative to our area for station two. So let's see, what do we want to do? I want to do one that we haven't done before and, I, and it's kind of hard to keep track of, honestly. Um, Let's do, uh, let's do building three Nottingham farms. We may have done this one already. I think we've been in that general area. I'm just, I'm not certain on that. It's, it's really kind of hard to keep up with. Uh, let's look at our engine real quick before we go. You can see we're not topped off on water. That's what I've been telling you guys. Uh, you have to be aware of that. We're not topped off on water, but I do think we have enough to get us by, and we're going to need tanker support anyway, so uh, we'll be bringing tanker 3 with us. Let's go ahead and hit the lights and the headlights, and we should be good to go. Let's roll out here for just a second. Hang tight. Dude, <laughs> they're already pulling over. They're pulling over. So we do have traffic. Yeah, okay, I see. It is over at the farm, but uh, it's going to be a different building, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get headed that way, right? Hope you guys are having a great week. It's been a good one here. It's been gorgeous here lately. I need to figure out which way. Do we need to turn? Yes, we do. We need to go this way. It's been a gorgeous week here so far, though I, I do think we have another chance of snow coming up within the next few days, uh, either tomorrow or Thursday or something like that. But uh, it's going to be like 86 today, 86 degrees, and then we're going to have snow, maybe. I don't think it's going to snow. I think it's going to wind up raining, but just have to wait and see, right? All right, so he's hanging this left, and then we make a right. Oh, it's a tight turn. It's definitely a tight turn. All right, so I had a few people ask about a manual Q siren. You don't, he, he's working on it. From what I understand, he's working on it. I, feel, I think they still have some more stuff to do. Oops, we're going the wrong way. They have some more stuff to do. This isn't really manual. Now, 
the other week when you started it, when you hit the seven key and you started it, it had to go through a cycle. So in other words, you had to let it go through the complete cycle before it would finish. Now they've got it where you can cut it off and on at any point. So uh, they're definitely, they're working on the sirens. I, I think they're, they may be, you know, going to be doing more with that um, at some point. So we'll just have to kind of hang out and uh, see what happens. I would love to see more done with the sirens. Absolutely. I would love to be able to see uh, what some users, you know, if, if it's, uh, uh, if it's moddable, you know, if users had the ability to create their own mods for that, I think it would be really interesting to see what they could do. So anyway, we're here at the scene. Let's hop out by hitting E. And uh, once again, we don't have a hydrant. We don't have any kind of hydrant access. So uh, we're gonna have to jump in tanker three. Let's hit tab. Go to, uh, actually let's go to emergencies. Let's say that we're dispatched to this. There we go. And we'll establish command. Let's exit out of that. Now let's go to fire stations. Station two, there's tanker three. We'll take the big boy out. We'll take the big boy out. Yes. Uh, let's get uh, lights and headlights. Uh, they use tankers like that where I live. Not quite the same. The tankers that they use around here, um, it's similar in that it's an 18-wheeler, but the tanks look almost like a chemical kind of trailer, if you know what I'm saying, if, if you kind of pick up on what I'm saying. They're not like this, but... Uh, I've seen them use those around here, and I've seen them use uh, frack tanks, too. They use a lot of frack tanks. So whatever they can get. get. And I've been posting a lot of pictures on the Discord here lately of uh, military trucks. We have, like, tons and tons of repurposed military trucks around here that they use as uh, fire trucks to, like, uh, um, gosh, uh, what are they called? Uh, the M9, I think it's M978 maybe or something like that. Like they have several of those around here. Uh, just all kinds of different military equipment. It's really kind of cool to see because, uh, you know, one of the main things that we deal with out here or that the fire department deals with out here is brush fires. So they have to have uh, these uh, real kind of heavy duty off-road um, trucks to be able to deal with that. So, all right, we're at the scene. I didn't even think to check the water. Yeah, this thing is almost empty. That It's like half full or half empty, however you want to look at it, right? So that's, uh, yeah, that's not good, but not much we can do about it now unless we want to get another tanker to uh, fill the tanker. So let's, um, let's hop out. Yeah, this is, you know, I don't see them using like the portable pond with this tanker. I think it would be too much. It would it'd be too much to kind of to try to ferry this thing back and forth to fill it and refill it and fill it. So I feel like this tanker is like one that you would put on scene and then you would just kind of leave there maybe. But either way, we got it. We've got a little water. Let's uh, let's get our supply line here. And I think it's no, it's on the other side. Other side, I do believe to hook up. There we go. And how do we want to do this? I thought about doing the deck gun, but damn, we're kind of, I think that would go through our water really, really fast. Now you can see it's already topped us off. Yeah, it's already topped us off. Uh, just hooking up to that tanker, so. Uh, first, let's get our air pack. Let's do that. That's like a given. And we'll do a 360. We need to do that. We need to go check things out, so we're going to do a 360. It looks like it's fully involved, like all the way around. We'll see here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, front to back, top to bottom it is definitely fully involved. This little, yeah, even this little area right here. So the whole barn is going up. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do some more stuff with the AI, the AI menu, because that's what it's all about. That's what the update's about. So let's go ahead and hit N key. And go to drone camera mode and then zoom out. Let's get situated here as far as how we want to approach this. Now, I do have the time locked on this. So I went into the host menu and locked the time. Something a little bit different this time. Let's go ahead and hit uh, AI menu. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I think it's still pretty much the same. Uh, we can definitely, we can upgrade the box. 
uh, to a working alarm. We still got two units available. If we uh, upgrade it to a second alarm, we'd have four units, four AI units available. Had a few people ask about that as well. Um, we can do a search. I, th I guess it's always good to do a search just in case. I, I don't know. I don't know if they go to a scene like this and be like, eh, we don't have to worry about it. Because uh, no one should be there, but you never know. You never know for certain. There may be someone in there, so. Uh, fire suppression. Let's put this guy right there. Because I'm worried about that tank. That thing will blow up. It'll catch on fire, and it will blow up. All right, so I think that's good for now. Water's going to be an issue for this, maybe. It could very well be. Uh, let's see. Do we have water close? We do have water close by. We do have water source close by. Uh, I love the drone camera mode. It kind of gives you a good chance to, to uh, look around. All right, you see our guy's down there searching. He's uh, going through the animation like he's searching. So that just uh, basically depicts that he's doing his thing. He's doing what he's supposed to. Once again, disregard the uh, stuff that's popping up in the top left corner. That's just uh, debug info for the... Uh, uh, for testing purposes, so that won't be there. And they're working on it. I kind of just want to sit back and watch these guys do their thing. Now, we could put another one on there, but we're really... I'm, I'm worried about water. Water's an issue. We're okay. Now, our tanker's already empty. Yeah, our tanker's already empty. So, let's... Um, text it out. Let's get out of this. And I... Th Think, I guess we're gonna have to go get some more water guys like I don't think we have a choice on the matter we're gonna have to get some we'll just have to take tanker 3 with us uh, let's get you disconnected and let's put you right here we'll hop in and go do it yeah I think we're gonna try to uh, draft from somewhere because I've done that I actually did that now I've, we tried it on a video and I didn't have any luck with it but uh off stream, off video, I actually got it to work. Uh, it seemed a little bit finicky to me, but we'll try it and see. Let's get this bad boy turned around here. There we go. Yeah, I just found some pictures from the uh, local volunteer fire department doing tanker ops with a big 18 wheeler like it. Said they didn't show the uh, they didn't show the tractor. They only showed the trailer. So I was kind of curious to see. Um, what they were pulling it with like I think it was it was like a private tractor trailer I don't even think it was like an official fire department vehicle I think it was purely private could very well be the case I know when they had the big uh, head on train collision in Panhandle they used a bunch of private uh, tankers out there so could very well be the case alright let's park this guy uh, let's park him right here I think it's about as good as any place We'll hop out. Let's get a supply line. And we're going to try to get this to work. It was really finicky with me the other day. Let's see if it works. Yes, it is. It's working. So, uh, basically, you just go out in the water and hit E. And uh, you can see we're topped off already. So, sweet. We could do that. I don't know if J would work on this. That's kind of interesting. I might have to test that out sometime. Pick it. Can we pick it back up? It's not lit. There we go. All right. now, No, we don't. Can we pick it up? Come on. Maybe we need to pick it up with... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't get it up. We have to take it with us. You know what? Let's get up in the cab. Let's see if we can hit J if that'll do anything. Uh, no, J will not do that. So it doesn't work the same way as the hydrants do. You can go up to a hydrant and hit J and it'll automatically... Um, come on. Pick up. All right. We got the tanker loaded up and ready to go. I never could get the... Uh, I never could get that line picked up. It eventually just said uh, maximum hose length reached, and then uh, look at all the people watching, all the bystanders. They're all stopping to watch. Bunch of rubberneckers. Uh, it finally said maximum hose length, and it went away, but I tried everything I could to pick it up, like uh, E and, um, oh man, we're taking out a telephone pole. E and uh, left click, and I just, I couldn't get it up. I don't know. Like I said, it could very well be me. I always default to me first. If I can't get something to work in a game, I, it defaults to spur. And then uh, if... Man, this thing just doesn't want to turn. And then if that's not the issue, if I'm not the issue, then you start looking at other things. But it could very well be me. Never know. 
All right, let's get back because they're probably totally out of water now. The fire is probably still raging. We should be good though. This should be all that we need for this fire. I don't see us needing any, another like another uh, run for water. All right, let's stop here. Let's hop out. And let's pick it up with E. See, yeah, I picked that up, no problem. But I couldn't get the line out of the uh, out of the lake. We lucked out on that. We really did. We've lucked out on that. Now, I could the other day when I was testing it out, but it just seems really finicky for me. All right, so we're back. Our AI guys, they gave up on us because we ran out of water. So what we're going to have to do is go back to that. We'll hit end again. And now we're in drone. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of the drone down in the bottom left corner. So there's actual like a little drone uh, there when you do this. All right, let's uh, let's go to AI menu, fire suppression, and let's put these guys here, and let's exit back out of this for a second. We can move around, and we may hit it from the rear too. You got to hit it from the back. Got to hit it from the rear. There we go. Now we might have it. <laughs> I think we're going to have it. This, this will do it. We'll see uh, how quick our water runs out. There's no telling. And I'm just going to go around and be kind of like a boss a little bit here. I'm going to be the uh, chief. In fact, you know what? Let's go to I. Let's hit I and... Oh, you can only do it at the fire station. I didn't know that. Okay, so you can't customize away from the fire station. You have to be at the fire station. Cool. All right. So they are in here. They are doing their thing... There's still, yeah, there's still a lot of fire in there and they don't seem to be having like a great amount of luck. Like they've definitely put a dent in it, but um, it doesn't seem like they're automatically guaranteed to just put it out quickly for you every time. Like it may take them a minute or uh, you may have to stretch a hand line and get it yourself. Yeah, I think we are. Damn, we may need another run of water, honestly. I... I don't know guys, like what do we look like on the, yeah, we still got a lot on the, all right, um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's go back to end and uh, let's see, we got zero units available. Let's remove one of these dudes. I don't know which one it's going to be though, which one? Okay, we picked right. We chose correctly. We chose wisely. Reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones and the, uh, the Holy Grail. Um, Let's get back out of this and uh, let's get a hand line and uh, we'll hit it ourselves. You grab an attack line with E and we're going to go around to the back to the C side. We'll hit it from there. Someone was asking on Discord last night, said, Spur, how do you know to park the uh, tower ladder or ladder on the, uh, the corner of the building? I, I, I read that somewhere. You know, I pick up like it's it's vital information for firefighters. But it's completely useless for me because I'm not a firefighter. But I picked that up somewhere. I think it was in some kind of uh, FDNY uh, manual, training manual, or something online. It was uh, it was like a PDF or something that I read. It it went into a whole bunch of information. Like I kind of skimmed over it a little bit and saw that part. But uh, yeah, it's just little bits of uh, information that I pick up here and there. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't claim to know anything about this. Most everything I've learned is like what you guys have taught me and what little bit I've read online. All right, we're, we're definitely doing it now. We've got it. we got it. For reals, we got it. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way? There we go. Maybe we can get it this way. Nice. That should be it, right? This should be it. Are we good? Yes, we are. Nottingham Farms is under control. Okay. Let's drop you down here. Get our mask back off. We'll start putting our stuff away and uh, we'll see about taking another call or two, maybe. Yeah, I have really, really enjoyed this update. I think it's very cool. I think it's nice that you can... You can arrive on a scene and you can start taking action without investing your own time. Like you can let the AI guys start taking care of certain things for you. And 
uh, let them perform tasks while you go take care of water or, uh, you know, you could do a search. I mean, there's lots of different things you could do, you know, so it really, it, it helps out a lot as far as like when you're, uh, when you're single player, you know what, let's take this guy back to the, uh, we'll take him back to the station and, uh, top it off at the hydrant. I think that's going to be important. So yeah, I love the update. The traffic is really nice. Uh, the the best thing to me out of all of it is that it just it runs so well on my system. Like I have zero issues, zero frustrations. Like it just it does what it's supposed to. So uh, I think uh, the dev. I talked to a dev the other night, and he said I think he said he was working on some more emergencies too. So that's definitely a big aspect of it for me. Because you can only, you know, you can go through the emergency so many times and then it starts to become stale. And that's really with any kind of gameplay, you know, anything that's not really sandbox, eventually it's going to get, uh, it's going to get stale, right? Like you just, you're going to do all that you can do and you can't do nothing. Else. Oh, they immediately go back to, <laughs> they immediately go back to uh, regular life when you cut the lights off. Oh, they're going crazy. Nice. <laughs> they really are. They don't know. <laughs> Uh, what are these guys doing? Do they have a wreck? Come on, y'all go. There we go. Uh, AI traffic always cracks me up. It's really, it's it's honestly, it's kind of entertaining. It's entertaining at times to see what these guys do. And I love it you can ram, or you can ram them. Like, you can just knock them out of the way. We'll do that in just a second. We'll hit this guy with the tanker. Of course, you know, most time when you're playing legit, you're not going to do this. You're going to... You're going to do it right, but <laughs> just to show you that they do react. They do react to uh, your equipment, like if you hit them. Uh, we goofed that up. We should have gone in the other way, but you know what? It's all right. It's our station. We do what we want. Oh, we got a car with us. <laughs> we took him with us. Oh no, I wondered. I thought it drove kind of sluggish. We took him with us under the trailer. Nice. <laughs> we drug him. Uh, he's like, I'd like to go now, please. <laughs> please, you let me out from under your truck, sir. Hey, let's hook you up. Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Got a left click for that. Get the hydrant wrench. And let's turn you on. We'll get topped off really super fast. Nice, all right, we're already done. There you go. And in fact, you know what? Let's hop back in the cab and we'll do it the easy way on this by hitting, oh, it didn't disconnect us, okay. J all right, uh, noted. If you manually c connect, uh, Jay won't disconnect it for you. Like you manually have to do it yourself too, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I may have goofed this up by doing that. I don't know if it liked it or not. Let's go back to the cab. Yeah, I may have done something I shouldn't have done. Uh, it doesn't seem to like what I did. It doesn't seem to have liked that at all. <laughs> we got two lines. Uh, let's see. What can we do to fix this? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I completely, completely goofed this up. Okay, there we go. We got that. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble here. I think we are. I think we goofed. Yeah, I think we goofed. I think we goofed by hitting J, by manually cl connecting and then hitting J. I don't think it like that. Okay, what we're going to do... All right, I'll tell you what. What we'll do is we'll go to uh, stations and go to tanker three and we're going to delete them. All right, let's go to, yeah, that's not gonna work either. Here we go, let's try it. All right, we got rid of tanker three. I completely goofed that up by doing that. I should have never done that. And it looks like we still got a little bit of hose left over here too. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, we hit E. That made that disappear. Hopefully that's, uh, 
That won't lead to bad things later. Yeah, okay, so what I did on that is uh, we rolled up. I manually hooked up the uh, the hose, and then uh, I tried to use Jay to uh, do, like, the AI disconnect, and uh, it didn't like that, so. No to sell. Spur, don't do that again. All right, let's go back to stations. Uh, station 2. Spawn truck. Uh, tanker 3. There we go. All right, he's back. Uh, it looks like we just got another call. What do we get? Uh, building two, Nottingham Farms dispatch. Man, they're having a bad day over there, right? Like they really just are. All right, let's exit out. Let's go back to uh, fire stations and let's go to engine one. I hope we're topped off. Yes, we are topped off. So that's good at least. They're having power surges over here. That's what I'm going to say is happening. Power surges has done caught one barn on fire and it's uh, working on the other one now. There we go. Oh yeah, this will be easy. We'll knock this out real fast. Uh, go to equipment, uh, tools, and extinguisher. There we go. All right, if we right click to aim and then hit left click to uh, discharge, it should be good. All right, yes, we can interact now. So let's turn this off. There you go. Power's cut off. Uh, problem solved. We saved the barn. Nice. All right. So that one is under control as well. And I think when it puts it under control, it just it clears it off the uh, all this. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll do it ourselves in. All right, there we go. Now we got to clear it off. We're good on that. Top back in the engine and we'll head back to the station. I keep forgetting to change our uh, status down there in the bottom left corner as well. Uh, also, other day, had a viewer give a good tip. I didn't notice this. Um, course it's not a good example now let's hop out and I'll show you all right if you see over your health bar it says firefighter is your role and then it has none and none I don't know if you guys remember the other day I, I couldn't figure out what kind of tool I had in my hand well uh, if you look at that over there it's going to tell you what you have there you go it says you have hydrant wrench so that's really cool I never noticed that before I never paid attention to that so good to know that all right now I think we're set Get back to the station. All right, we're back in the station. Let's get the tanker. We'll pull him in as well. Always love it when you guys do the viewer requests. It helps a lot. It gives me ideas on uh, what to do and what you guys want to see. Someone had mentioned about the airport. Now, I tried the airport off, uh, off stream the other day. And uh, I couldn't get the call to spawn. So I don't know like what the status of the airport map is right now. If, it, if it's doing what it's supposed to or if, if it's being worked on or what. But uh, we came in the wrong way doing that. We did. Backing up with a keyboard is not my cup of tea, guys. I can tell you that right now. You can get this guy in there. Now, I think... Yes, if you pull up to the door, you hit F. And it'll automatically raise it for you, though. So that's good. I would wondered that, and I've had several people ask about that as well, so... Now, let's get this guy back in there a little bit. Kind of hard to judge. I think we're okay there. I think that's all right. All right, let's kill the engine by hitting R. We'll hop out. And uh, I wanted to change to a chief's hat. So now we should be able to do that by hitting I. It's going to allow us to customize. We'll go into this more. I want to go into this more like in its own video, but just show you guys real fast a little bit as far as what we could do. You go to head customization. Uh, you can change your helmet style. There you go. Oh, look at there already. Uh, helmet primary color. We could do, let's do white. There we go. That's a good one right there. 
And then uh, you can change the uh, secondary color of your uh, uh, stripes on your helmet, your reflective stripes. You can do uh, the shield color. As you can see, you can do that. Uh, we could do red, maybe. I think red would be cool. Let's see, I know it's in there somewhere. There you go. We'll go with that. That's close enough. It's kind of red orange, but good enough. Uh, you change your number colors. Uh, I mean, you can change your number and your number color. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do on this to uh, to kind of customize it to whatever you want, which is really cool. Change your shield color. You change your number. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like something else might be added later on. Go to back customization and uh, you can change your uh, bottle color. We do lots of different things with that. We go to uh, let's see. Who we got here? We got yellow. We'll go with yellow. And uh, let's see. What else we got? Uh, back, gear, head, gear. You can change your uh, your head. There you go. Got a few different ones. I don't know how many they have for that. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot, but uh, we got a few there we could do. And uh, you can change your outfit color as well, too. We won't mess with that right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop out, and let's see what our last call is. What is this going to be? Box 310, uh, Camp Theodore Cabin 1. Where is that at? I don't even have a clue where that would be. Let's uh, let's go to the map and see here. Exit out U. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, closer to Station 3, but you know what? I think we'll just go on and respond as uh, Station 2 because we're going to have to take the tanker anyway. So, All right, let's pull you down. And that's weird. The helmet almost looks kind of pink. I don't know if that was uh, like a true white that I picked. Let's look at it again real quick. It, the fire can burn for a bit. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's actually a pink I picked. All right, let's see. Uh, helmet, primary color. There we go. That is just a little bit of a light pink. Yeah, a lot of different colors you can do here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go back. Uh, shield color. I think back to uh, back to that and the number color. We'll go to white. Looks good enough, right? Okay, let's exit out. So yeah, there's actually quite a few things you can do to kind of customize your uh, your firefighter, and they have multiple styles of helmets too. So like I said, we'll get into a whole like a whole separate video uh, on its own about that, and you guys can see what all you can do. All right, I think we're set. Get our headlights going. There we go. All right, let's see. He's sitting there. He's got his wheels cut. He's like, I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> it's so true to life. People at intersections, when emergency vehicles go through, you know, they're sitting there thinking, do I pull over? Do I just stay here? Do I go through the intersection? Like it's a way different scenario when someone's sitting in an intersection versus just like driving down the road. Like they don't know what to do. I've seen it happen. I've definitely seen it happen before. All right. Uh, yeah, these people gonna lose their mind too. Yeah, they don't know what to do. <laughs> they don't know what to do. There we go. All right, we should be here shortly. Like I said, we're right here at the other station, but uh, we would, well, I think there is a tanker spawned at that station. So, I mean, I, really, you could spawn whatever you want at any station. You could clear it out. You could delete everything and then just spawn something new in if you wanted to. So, I mean, you can, you know, you can set it up any way you like, basically. A little bit fast there. Uh, what do we got? We do have a working fire for certain. Oh, man. Okay. It's a little like a little pavilion or whatever. I wonder if the actual buildings can catch on fire too. All right. Let's go back to tab. Let's go to emergencies. Let's, uh, we should have done that, but we didn't. Let's establish command. Let's exit out of that. Exit out of you. And now we need to go on scene. Responding. Let's see. On scene. There we go. All right. So we're here. We're good to go. 
Uh, we're going to need the water, though, so let's get Tanker 3. We'll bring him here. Okay, back to fire stations. Tanker 3, select you. Oh, it didn't work because I'm not out of the equipment. You have to be out before you can get that to work. Try it again here. Fire stations, Tanker 3. There we go. Headlights, lights. This guy is a beast to turn when uh, she's going too fast. Like, it is most definitely a beast. Oh, yes. We'll get you out of the way. Sorry. Right. We're getting him out of the way one way or the other. All right, we'll change up the siren a little bit. Come on, guys, y'all got to get out of the way. But yeah, they do have a few different, uh, a few different sirens that you can go through on this. We got that. To me, that's more like a uh, maybe a European style or something. They may have those in the United States. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, that one as well. Oh shoot, we're taking out the telephone. Well, kind of getting the telephone pole a little bit there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I like the Q. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right. We'll go back to this one. We'll go back to three. Three is my favorite. Out of all of them so far. And we need to change our... Uh, there we go. Change that to responding. And this is where we need to turn. Camp Theodore. I don't think we've ever been in here before. Damn, I didn't top my water off. We connected to that hydrant and it never topped us off. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. We connected up, but uh, for whatever reason, I probably goofed that up when I was messing with the hoses. All right, we're here. At least we got a little bit. We've got enough to get us by, I think. All right, let's go up here and we'll get supply line chiefs one manning it today we're doing everything we're doing all the things all right connect you up uh we may bring the tanker from station three honestly we might need that it might be a good idea we'll do that all right let's exit out of you i didn't mean to do that uh fire stations uh three tanker two there we go. Let's hit F. That'll raise that up. Headlights and lights. And let's see. Which way do we need to go back to the right? Alright. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing a video where we'll just... Uh, we'll do a video probably where we look at all the different pieces of equipment and all the customization and then kind of take a look at the stations too i know some of you had asked about the stations um the different stations and what they look like inside stuff like that he has it looks like they've been adding detail to the interior of some of the stations i haven't looked at all of them but uh, definitely uh, station two is one of them it's had a lot of things added inside so that's pretty cool they're making the uh they're making the stations look a little homier inside all right, we're going to keep that guy there just in case we may have enough water. We may not. I will try the deck gun because I don't think we've ever done the uh, the deck gun in any of the videos. There we go. Nice. All right. See, uh, see what kind of damage we can do with this thing and how quick we run out of water. Got to protect these exposures here kind of hard to gauge where uh, where your water is going like that's all right we got that I bet this thing goes through some water fast let's get this other side here get it off the cabins uh maybe it's it's so hard to gauge it's like really hard to tell where it's going 
more if I can change the view here. Nah, it doesn't look like. We can raise it up. So raise it up a little bit here. That's cool. I think we got it off the building. Oh, we still got this back over here too. Let's try this. I think we got it. Nice. Yes, we did. All right. Uh, let's exit out. We still got a lot of water too. Nice. Yeah, we really didn't put much of a dent in that. So that's cool. That's good. All right. Let's go back to the command menu real fast. We'll do that. Uh, let's hit end. See the drone. It just pops up for a split second. You can see it there. I I'm wondering like if you could see the drone in multiplayer. That would be cool. Um, AI menu, let's do that. Uh, fire suppression. There you go. We'll let these guys do something. And I don't, we don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. I think we're good on all this. Fix it out of you. Hit that. All right, let's go boss these guys around. All right, y'all put the waters on the fires, guys. These guys put the water. We're like out in, uh, we're in upper, uh, uh, upper New York State, maybe. Not really sure uh, where Canton County is supposed to be, honestly. Um, I did they get it? Yes, they did. Uh, Camp Theodore, cabin one is under control. Nice. Got a little smoke here waiting to clear out. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I, you know what? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I, I keep saying, like, this is going to be the last one, guys. And then 10 later, I'm like, let's do another one. Uh, let's put you back. I, I just, I really want to give you guys a good idea of, like, what the gameplay is like as a whole. All right, so we've got all this stuff here. We didn't need it all. Um, I don't want to take the time to drive it back. So I think what we're going to do is just delete the tankers and then we can respawn them back. So we'll go back to that. Uh, we'll delete tanker two and uh, then we'll uh, delete tanker three as well. Let's see, it's going to be station two, tanker three, remove truck. Tanker three, there we go. Um, let's hit tab again. Uh, fire station, station two. Spawn truck, tanker three. It's kind of a roundabout way, I feel like, to do it, but uh, it, it helps, like, if, if you're single player and you don't want to deal with all this stuff. Uh, let's get our deck gun back down, too. Let's hit J. Should lower it down. Nice. All right, that's set. Let's hop back off. And I think we're good. We're going to catch up back at station two, guys. I'll probably just delete this guy and then respawn. And we'll just teleport back to it. Let's, see, let's go fire stations two. Remove truck. Engine one. And then let's go back. Fire stations. Station two. Spawn truck. Let's do uh, engine. Let's do engine two. I can't remember what that one looks like, honestly. All right, now let's teleport to it. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's bad. Yeah, it's definitely bad. You've got to move them. You had like if you spawn one, you have to move it before you can spawn another one. I totally forgot about that. That's not good. No bueno. All right, let's uh, go back to remove truck. <laughs> <laughs> they look oh no that looked bad that was really bad all right uh, let's get this guy out of the way let's get him out of the way we're not gonna worry about parking him in the bay we'll just put him somewhere out of the way oh we got another fire another random fire has come in let's see what do we got where is that even at Let's see, emergencies, uh, box 310, 25 Pine Road. Where is that one going to be at? Before we start spawning in a bunch of stuff. Uh, that looks like the house fire we did not that long ago, right? 
I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that isn't the one we did. It's one of those two. I think it is because I remember going through the intersection. Yeah, we're not going to do that one. We're going to uh, we're going to clear that one out. It's in the current call. There we go. All right, it disappeared. Hit tab. Let's continue getting our equipment back here the right way. All right, let's go back to fire stations. Uh, station two. Spawn truck, engine two. I want to look at that one. I don't think we've done much with it. And he should be sitting over there correctly now. There we go. Okay, yes, we're good to go on that. And he is topped off on water when he spawned in. We'll check the fuel too. Uh, a little over half tank. Yeah, these are, uh, this is a definitely a different style of engine I am not familiar with whatsoever. I don't know what this thing is. But, uh, they got a the little bit of the nose to them. Whatever they are. Oh, I didn't mean, I keep hitting J. I'm so used to hitting J for lights that <laughs> the Camaro's like, whoa. Like, what are you guys doing? Listen, I need you to get out of the way. Pretty nice engine, though. I like it. I dig it. Good. You do a lot of customization to these two. Like I said, that'll be another video. I still kind of got to work on that. There we go. Let's do that. Kill the engine. Hop out. All right. We'll see about spawning another fire in real fast. Uh, let's see. Go to emergencies. Force dispatch call. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Uh, area of Pine Road, area of Rusty Road, 222. Uh, Cletus Road. I'm almost certain we've done Cletus Road. Had to do Cletus Road. Uh, what do we want to do? Oh, never mind. We've got a working fire. Let's see, where is that going to be at? Oh, uh, yeah, I see. It's going to be up there by Station 4. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab that one because uh, we've never done that one before. So let's teleport up Station 4. This is how you would do it if you're one manning it. If you're doing, you know, the entire show yourself, this is how you would do it. Let's teleport to station. And who do we want to take? I think we're going to take the brush truck. This is the one, honestly, I really kind of like to spawn this one out in the rural areas. Um. For your engine, I, I think it uh, it works out pretty nice for that. All right, let's go. Lights, headlights. Oh uh, yeah, there's the smoke, so we most definitely have a working fire for certain. Uh, let's uh, go back to this dispatch. When you exit out into the menu, you lose control of the uh, <laughs> lose control of the truck. So I would suggest if you're going to start messing around the other menus, you might want to pull off somewhere. All right, let's get down there before we do anything else. Let's hit uh, F1 to respond. And I don't know anything about this fire. Like, I really just don't. All right, y'all need to get out of the way, please. Y'all get... Uh, yeah, nice. This is going to be like some row houses or something like some uh, multiple dwellings here. And this one is most definitely fully involved. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is really good. All right, uh, let's kill the siren. Let's hit on scene. Uh, let's hit tab. Emergencies, establish command, exit out of you. And what else do we need to... Uh, I kind of think the tiller ladder, guys. I think we need to bring him. People like the tiller, so we'll bring him. We'll park this guy down here. And let's exit out so we can get the tiller. All right, let's go to fire stations. And uh, which one is it going to be? This one, okay. 
Alright, lights and headlights. Nice. Okay, yeah, we're kind of oriented the way we need to be now. We'll just pull in behind the brush truck and set this guy up. Oh, y'all need to move. Like, you really, really just need to move. Man, she is such a beast to turn. Uh, you know what? Then we'll just take some paint off your car. If you're not going to move for us, then you're just going to take some paint. And I don't know how this is going to go down right here. Because we need that spot. Like, we need that in a bad kind of way. <laughs> Y'all going to have to move. Y'all just going to have to go. Go. Move. Move. This is totally not legit. Oh, although, I'd be willing to bet they wish they could do this in real life. Alright, let's get uh, responding and then own scene. Let's kill that. <laughs> we done stacked the cars up. I told you to move. You know, if you're not going to move, then it's and so be it. So be it. It's just, it, it is what it is. Alright, let's do outriggers. There we go. All right, we're good with that. Operate ladder. Yeah, it is fully involved. It really just is. All right, let's go to the other uh, view here so I can kind of see what's going on. Makes it much easier than trying to judge these things from the turntable. Like, it is really, really tricky. Down. And let's go out a little bit further. There we go. Alright, let's change back to review and let's, uh, let's exit. We've got him good to go. What? How did that happen? I didn't do... Did I do that? I mean, I know I did that. But did I do that? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I think they're losing their mind over here on this one-way street. Oh, uh, we need a water supply, guys. Like, that's going to be a big deal. I think there's some down here on the... Uh, on the corner. Yep. All right. So, we need another engine. Let's get back out of this. Let's go back to tab, fire stations. Uh, what do we want to take? Uh, we'll take squad. Should be just down the street here. We'll park this one on the corner. We'll hook up to the hydrant and then we'll run a supply line to it. Yeah, the cars, the traffic is just really just like they're losing their mind. Okay, let's grab supply. We'll do it manual. There we go, get our hydrant wrench, do that as well. Alright, should be good on that. Yes. And we'll have to get a supply, run it down to uh, do the squad. Ooh, that's going to be a long run. I forgot the brush is so far down there. Yes, I did. I completely forgot about that. That's alright, we'll let the rookies pack it back up. I don't know if we'll be able to get around this. <laughs> the cars are really <laughs> they're piled up everywhere and the firefighters like look at those crazy cars uh, grab supply line and uh, let's go all the way back down 
are the logistics of it, right? Like water's a big deal. You don't always have like a hydrant right there on the corner waiting on you, so. We'll run you down here and hook you up and we should be set. Oops. Would you uh, connect? There we go. All right, so we should have water. Got a water supply going and um, we'll just start doing some of the AI stuff here. <laughs> Look at the carnage. The cars just cracked me up. There's literally cars piled up everywhere. Uh, doors already breached. Yeah, I, I, I guess we'll just do a uh, fire suppression and primary search. Maybe. Did we establish a command? I don't, I don't remember. Yes, we did. Okay, exit out of you. Get out of this, and let's go to end. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, we could have access to the back. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could have done that. It could have been a thing. It looks like a little courtyard back here or something. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's upgrade the box. I think we're going to do this as a second alarm. And let's do primary search. We'll do that. Let's do fire suppression back here. Let's put them on this corner right here. All right, we'll exit out of this and move to the front. Now we're getting sprayed down. It's all right. It's all right. All right, fire suppression, and we'll put this guy on the front here. And we honestly, we may do another one. I don't think, we don't really need anything else. We definitely don't need to vent. Uh, we don't need forcible entry. We don't need saw. Maybe writ? I'm not sure because you know what? Let's put them down just to see. Let's put them down just to see what they look like. Oh, nice. That's cool. Like they they're ready to go. What is uh what is writ, guys? Uh rapid intervention or team or something like that? I really I don't know. I don't know. Let me know, but uh they look like they're ready to go. All right, let's uh, let's exit out of that. Nice. So I guess they just hang out there, and in case you know what, I'm going to sacrifice myself. Let's do it. Let's take one for the team. I want to see. Oh, we like we immediately went down. Oh, there they are. There they are. Nice. See them, and they got us. They brought us back. Now that is cool. That is really cool. He brought me right back. Uh, but we don't have any help, so we got to see about that real fast. There we go. That was cool. So they rescued you. They took you out. Yeah, that was so cool seeing the dude in the flames there. I was like, damn, he was a grade A number one badass, right? <laughs> like standing there in the fire. All right, so that works. So we actually got to try that out. It's the first time I've ever done that, so that was cool. Uh, it looks like they're making headway on the fire. It does seem like they're making headway. Let's um, let's go back to the the drone menu real quick. The drone mode. Uh, I want to mess around with this a little bit more here for a second. So the bottom floor looks close to being good. It's a little bit back there. Uh, what else? I'm wondering. Where's the stairway at? I don't see the stairs. It's kind of cool to be able to go through the fire and see exactly what's. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to see about putting one inside. I was going to see about spawning uh, some of the fire suppression inside, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to stick with what we got. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see what it does. I changed my mind. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. What it does. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what did it do? Oh, it has them in there. It's just kind of, uh, I don't know if that's legit, like if I was supposed to do that or not. But we do have them in there. They're in there doing their things. They're not masked up, though. I was just curious. I was curious if we could put them, we could do that, how well that would work out. All right, let's go back outside. We may, uh, we may delete them and go in on our own. I think we're going to do that. I think so. All right, let's remove them. Uh, wrong one. Never mind. There we go. All right. Well, we wound up deleting all of them. But that's all right. We'll uh, we'll reposition them. All right, let's go back to AI. Our suppression. Let's put these guys on this corner here. And we'll exit out of that. I like the firefighting as like approaching it as a strategy mode too. I think that's kind of cool. I've never played a firefighting RTS, so I don't know that much about it, but the concept seems really cool. There we go. And this isn't exactly like, this isn't exactly like an RTS. I'm, I don't think it's not meant to be that way. It's, I think it's more purely like helpers. But uh, it kind of plays that way a little bit. As it seems like to me. Um, yeah, our RIT team is still standing by. Let's uh, let's exit out of this. And we'll just stretch a headline on our own and do this. That was so cool that they went in and rescued us like that. I had forgotten about that. All right, let's grab an attack line. And we'll mask up and go in. Chief's going to have to earn his paycheck today, right? Let's hit the lights. Uh, we need to find a stairway. I don't... Is there a stairway in here? Maybe right here. This may be it. Yes, it is. Bingo! We got it. Um, yeah, so they put the first floor out by themselves. Like, they totally did that. Damn, it looks like they got the second story, too. Like, they're really... Uh, no. Never mind. They're doing good though. They're definitely they're putting a dent in this. Back first person. That's a big fire. This place is really fully involved. We might, maybe we could have gotten away with another alarm. I don't know. It's me being like not having any knowledge on it. It's hard for me to say what constitutes exactly a third alarm, you know? I mean, maybe not. It seems like second felt right for this. I don't think we'll be able to get that. We did. Maybe it may already be busted. There we go. Definitely made a difference. That is really cool. I like that. All right, so we got this. Come on. I know you want to bust. Do it. <laughs> Do it. It doesn't want to burst. It doesn't want to bust. Yeah, those aren't going to do it. Okay, let's uh, continue upstairs. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is a nice fire. I like this. It's uh, it's a little bit involved, even with the helpers. With your AI helpers, there's still quite a bit to do. Nice. Got it. I got that one. That room's good to go. And that one, oh, we got a victim. I'll go on it. I just can't get those to uh, bust for some reason. I don't know why. 
I still hear fire too. Like I, I don't think we're done yet. I don't know. I don't think we can get like we can get up on the um, on the roof. It doesn't look like it. I think there's fire on the roof though. I think that's what we're hearing. I wish I could get those to go. There we go. Oh, it makes a world of difference, right? I don't know. I don't hear the fire now, so... I think that's good enough. We'll go check it in a second. Uh, homeboy's just going to have to lay there for a minute. He'll be alright. Let's open the front door up here. We'll get you and get that one too. Yeah, it does. It has an immediate effect just about. Oh, it's under control, so it is out. Okay, nice. Uh, Yeah, that's cool. I thought we had fire on the roof, though. I kept hearing something, but I guess it wasn't. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to third. And let's drop this guy down. Yeah, the bottom's been dropped out on us. Then come a turd floater. All right, let's hop up. I want to climb up there just to see, just to be sure. Climb ladder. And what does it look like? Actually, this squat down. It looks a little bit more legit that way. Yeah, we're good up there. We're good. Nice. Nice, nice. Can we back down it, though? Yeah, we can kind of back down it. I, I don't want to go down forwards. I mean, we could. We could, right? It just doesn't... <laughs> Doesn't seem legit that way. Seems like a whole bunch of safety violations going down that way, but... Alright, let's hop down. I think we're going to call it here because we've done... Uh, we put out a fire and we've created enough chaos. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new update. Be sure to go check out Into the Flames. On the Steam Workshop, like I said, it's on sale 30% off right now. It will be on sale through April the 4th. I think that's what he said. Uh, love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And with all that said, we'll catch you in Canton County next time. Peace.